we're going to draw the Lewis structure for CBr4, which is tetrabromomethane, or carbon tetrabromide. What matters is that carbon and bromine are both non-metals from the right side of the periodic table. That means it's a covalent or molecular compound, and uh, there's going to be a sharing of electrons, not a transfer from one to the other. So no arrows here, instead just sharing of electrons. Now let's see how many electrons we have. Carbon is in group 14, so it brings four valence electrons. Bromine is in group 17, which means they bring seven electrons each, but there are four of them. So seven times that four is 28, plus carbon's four is, uh, oh, I almost drew 28 there, but it's 32 electrons total that I need to deal with. Now, what I'm going to do is put my central atom in the center, that's carbon, and I'm going to surround it with the other atoms, in this case, Br, Br, a third Br, and a fourth Br. I'm going to single bond, oh, hello, cat, a single bond, each of those together to hold it together in a single molecule, and I've already dealt with two, four, six, eight electrons. Now, I'm going to fill the octet of the outer atoms to satisfy the octet rule, of course. I'm going to count up to 18 electrons, keeping in mind that I already have 2, 4, 6, 8 taken care of. So here's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. That's 32 electrons, just what we prescribed. And the octet of each of the bromines is complete, and the octet on the central carbon is also complete. This is the completed Lewis structure for carbon tetrabromide. We're done. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.